Hello, hello, and welcome to the Shark Stream. Uh, we still got about six minutes left. There are six minutes? Jesus Christ. Can you imagine if I decided to make the fucking... Uh, the fucking... What's it called? Ad break that fucking long. Good lord. That would be... A nightmare. Um, but hi! Welcome to the Shark Stream. If it sounds like I'm a little far away from my mic, it's because I am... Uh, just a bit, um, only because uh, I am eating currently, uh, kind of uh, down to the wire today, uh, unfortunately, uh, which happens sometimes, you know. Uh, but it is Thursday, which means it's time for some Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I'm going to shove another one of these gyoza in my mouth. Give me a second. Mm. Delicious. Uh, now, Natalie isn't here this week uh, because Natalie is busy over on her stream playing Kingdom Hearts. Uh, and she's very excited to do so. Um, <laughs> excuse me. I tuned in for uh, some of it. Um, and I mean, it sure is Kingdom Hearts. I don't really have, like, a particular opinion one way or the other on Kingdom Hearts. I played a little bit of those games, not a huge amount. And by a little bit, I mean I played a little bit of Kingdom Hearts 1, because it's just like, I don't know if I have it in me to like play any game after Kingdom Hearts 1 if I haven't finished the first one, because I feel like I'll just be super fucking lost. But, you know. Um, what's been going on recently? Uh, gaming news. It's a FF14. It's, FF it's an FF14 day, so I can talk about FF14 stuff. Um, there was a recent interview with your boy Yoshi P, where he mentioned that, hey, uh, for Dawn Trail, you might want to make sure that you remember the names of the Convocation of 14, uh, which are like the main Asians. I don't know if we've gotten into the weeds on their details just yet. Raggy, can I help you? You are up on my desk. Is there something I can do for you? That, that was just me. That was just me. <laughs> Where are you trying to go? Are you trying to go over here? You can go down here. trying to guide him. He clearly wants to go over to the PS5 to lay on it, but he's a little hesitant about finding a uh, path to use for that, so I'm trying to guide him a bit. But yeah, I guess we're not fucking done with Asians yet, so, you know, got that going for us, which is neat, I guess. Um, see, if, if you're not kind of up to date on, like, the details of, like, kind of what's going on in the Final Fantasy XIV story, um, Endwalker was supposed to be basically the conclusion of the whole story involving the Ashens. Like, now that Endwalker is done, uh, they don't really have a whole lot to do uh, in the plot. As a result, we got a fair number of, um, quests, like, towards the end and after the fact, kind of, like, closing out some details with regards to, like, specific, ASEAN-specific stories. Um, but, that being said, uh, somebody went through, I guess, uh, 
the lore and determined that of the members of the Convocation of 14, which again is a whole thing that we're not going to go ahead and get into, since that's not going to be particularly relevant until like Shadowbringers, like it's not really particularly important in Stormblood, which is where we're at right now, but Like I said, it's a it's a group of like major Asian characters, and thus far, we are aware of the more or less the fates of most of them except for one. Uh, so it's entirely possible that that last one that we don't really know where they are, what they're up to, is going to figure into Dawn Trail somehow, which I'm kind of fine with. Honestly, um, <clears throat> like everything that happened up through Endwalker is kind of, sort of feels like too big of a deal for us to just sort of brush it all aside, you know? I also have chips. That's sweet and tangy barbecue uh, Doritos. Like I said, I kind of rushed through eating uh, before my stream. I, I've i been kind of in and out of the house just dealing with a bunch of stuff. So, <sighs> you know, between um, running errands, forgetting things while on those errands, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, some computer issues. Not my computer issues, but helping Natalie with her computer issues. It's just been... It's been a heck of an afternoon. But yeah. Um, anything else? Oh, uh, <coughs> this is kind of a... I thought this was kind of a nice thing. So, Gearbox, right? Gearbox is one of those studios where it's like... I'm not the biggest fan of their output, really. But, like, I follow a few people who work at Gearbox... And they're generally nice people. And something that has been kind of concerning is that... So... Oh, God, my nose is running. So Embracer Group, right? Embracer Group is this... Um, organization, this company that's been buying up a bunch of game studios recently. Just consolidating them all under, like, a, a single umbrella, as it were. And uh, one of those studios that they bought was Gearbox. I forget if they bought all of 2K or if it was just Gearbox. It might have just been Gearbox. Um, now, Embracer Group had an issue recently. Uh, I say recently, but that was only like within the first years where they were kind of banking about being bought out by like some company from Saudi Arabia. And uh, that deal fell through, so they found themselves... They had basically bought a lot of these studios on effectively credit um, with the assumption that they were going to get bought out by this company and have enough money to, like, cover their purchases. And uh, that didn't happen. <laughs> Which uh, is funny because fuck them, but it's also tragic because it's just like well now there's the possibility that a lot of these studios are on the chopping block um and even if i don't like a game studio i don't necessarily want to see them like closed down and see a bunch of people lose their jobs all at once like i mean you know i think that the gaming landscape in general would benefit from Fortnite being just completely cancelled and done away with, but that's just me. I don't necessarily want all those people to lose their jobs. I would like them to, like, be moved to other things. And it's a similar thing where it's just like, I don't necessarily like Gearbox's output. I don't want the people of Gearbox to be without work. Um, so it was really nice to see uh, an article saying that Gearbox is now out from under Embracer. Uh, that they have managed to just do a clean breakaway 
rather than um, being closed down. Like, that was nice to see. So, before we get into Stormblood stuff, we have a uh, crossover event to do. This is Breaking Brick Mountains. This is a crossover event with... God. One of the Dragon Quest games. I don't know offhand which one. Because this came out... This crossover event, event has been com going in and out, com going away and coming back over and over again since I started playing this game in 2013. I am Havak Alvak, a self-styled student of sundry subjects, though I am best known, perhaps, for putting pen to parchment for a popular paper, the Mithril Eye. Hey, are you related to the dude that runs the fishing guild? In these times of trials and tribulations, a subject of singular strangeness has ensnared my senses, magical monstrosities more commonly known as golems. But I speak now of no common creation of magecraft. No, these shambling servants of stone have no equivalent in all of Eorzea. Should these curious constructions contain ores of extraordinary origin? Well, ah. Cheesy slaps. Oh, mate, you stream pretty cool. That's why I follow. I would love to be a fan of yours. If you don't mind, kindly add me on Discord. No, thank you. Don't want to deal with that. Uh, okay. Well, I can only imagine the influence it might exert over Uldar's economy. Amagina and Sun's mineral concern has come to a conquering conclusion, and its superiors seek a savvy adventurer to separate the facts from the fantastic. A representative of Amagina and Sons awaits outside Arzaneth Ossuary. If exploring this enigma seems an entertaining endeavor, then I would wander over before this window of opportunity is wasted. Oh, God. Quest accepted. Jesus Christ, okay. Speak with the beefy businessman. Oh, I get, he's over by the Thaumaturge Guild. <laughs> um. Oomst? Excuse me. Beef man? Oh, hold up. King Slime Crown. I'm pretty sure I have this, and tragically, I can't wear it. <laughs> hey, don't sneak up on me like that. Are you trying to make me soil my breeches? Yes. Hmm, you're here for the job, are you? Well, I hope you've, exp you've experienced dismantling gold... 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 <clears throat> Excuse me. We've been gathering reports over some never-a-foreseen constructs would have begun showing up all over the damn realm. Nary a soul knows what the creatures are made of, so Amagina and Sons means to be the first to take a pickaxe to this mystery motherload. We'll need ye to get out there, take apart one of them shambling piles of bricks, and bring me back a good-sized chunk of the remaining rubble. What do you say, eh? Will you give it a shot? Yeah. Good lass. I'll have a nice refreshing reward for ye when ye get back. Okay. Participate in the fate brick by brick, followed by the fate brick by stone brick, or brick by gold brick, to obtain a chunk of brickman. I... okay, where's that? Okay, hold on. Sildi, excavation site in central Thailand, south... blind iron mines, Laurel Nasia. Central Thailand? Alright. Brick by brick. God, I remember playing the shit out of the Lego Island games when I was a kid. They should bring those back. Yo, this fate cracked. A warm welcome. The Sildi Excavation Site is where the fates are supposed to spawn. So I'll just head over there. I have screenshots from back when I played this game in 2013 of just an absolute mess of people hanging out in this area, specifically up on this ridge, waiting for the fate to spawn. 
they were nice times. I remember specifically there were a bunch of people who had, like, beaten the MSQ at that time, which, at the time, was only Rome Reborn. Um, so they were hanging out in their, uh, fucking, whatchamacallums, the goddamn... I'm completely blanking on what the fuck they're called. The, uh, Magitek armor, that's it. Tinkerbell Pixie Dust. Yeah, they're fine. <sighs> I'm gonna have some chips here. Hold on. I feel like a lot of the early um, seasonal events tended to do stuff like this where it's just like, oh yeah, you have to participate in fates. And I think that was because the game was still relatively new and there was a lot of stuff. There were a lot of, like, design elements at the time that... Um, would go on to basically be phased out. Um, I've talked about this before. It used to be that you had to get to level 30 on your main job and then get to level 15 on a secondary job in order to basically get the upgraded version of that main job. Um, so, like, when I started out, I started out as a Thaumaturge on another character. And I had to get up to level 30 as a Thaumaturge, but before I could get Black Mage, I had to do level 15 Archer. And, like, I think part of that is that these days, um, you know, it's very well known, in, I would say, uh, for FF14 that um, you basically you don't need to stick with a single job you can have multiple of them but when the game started in order to kind of like or when realm reborn started in order to sort of uh encourage people i would say um to uh take on more than one job they made it necessary so that you could get like more powerful jobs Which is one way to do it, you know. It's an elegant solution. <coughs> Excuse me. I considered, when I got the game on PS4, I considered going back to that character to try leveling her again and just kind of picking up where I left off. But, uh... Yeah, no. I I ended up deciding just to make a brand new character and thus I made Igeld Sjork and I'm very happy with that decision. I'm gonna go beat that guy up. Hold on. <laughs> He's just standing there. Thinks he fucking owns the place. Anyway. I wonder how long it takes for this fate to pop. I'm in the right place for this, right? Sildi excavation site in central Thanalan. Central Thanalan. Sildi excavation site. Yep.
I decided to switch to this fashionable hat uh, for my headgear for this outfit. Uh, in preparation for glasses getting uh, their own uh, gear slot in Dawn Trail. I'm so fucking ready for Dawn Trail. It dawns on me... Ha, it dawns on me that... I'm not going to be able to stream this prior to Dawn Trail coming out unless I swap things around and do this on Wednesday and then do Spider-Man on Thursday. Um, the weekend that Dawn Trail comes out, I won't be streaming on Friday and Saturday uh, because I'm going to be spending that whole time playing Dawn Trail. <laughs> I'm very excited. I took the day off from work. The Friday and the following Monday. So it's just gonna... That's just gonna be my whole fucking weekend. This is where Brick by Brick spawns, right? Brick by Brick Fate. Yep, this is where it spawns. Alright. We just gotta hang out here. <sighs> there was okay so i've talked countless times about how much i enjoy alan wake 2 um played through the dlc recently absolutely fucking loved it something that i've been keeping my eye on for a little while now is there were official Oh Dear Diner thermoses. Um, and if you're not aware, uh, thermoses were a major collectible in the first Alan Wake. Uh, you had to find a hundred of them. And um, they also showed up... The Oh Dear Diner thermos specifically showed up in control as a... Uh, I forget if it was an... I think it was an altered item... Uh, as opposed to, like, an object of power. And they released, uh, some time ago, official uh, Oh Dear Diner thermoses. Um, and they sold out super quickly. Them and the uh, Bright Falls coffee blend that they made. Uh, and I had been waiting to see if at any point they were going to restock those. And within the last month, they announced that they were going to have them restocked um, in the spring. Uh, and then more recently announced, oh yeah, we're gonna have they're going we're gonna have the restock before the end of June. And then even more recently announced, yes, the restock is going to be coming at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on June thirteenth. Now, I'm not generally the kind of person who participates in, like, um, fucking uh, merch drops like this. Uh, just because, like, nine times out of ten, it's, like, not usually something I want. That being said, Alan Wake as a series means a lot to me. Um, and... Uh, on the original game, I did collect every single one of those thermoses. I haven't done so on the remaster yet. Um, I want to go back and do so, as well as get the rest of the achievements for that. I also need to get two more achievements for Alan Wake 2 with the DLC. So, I want to, I, I need to make sure I go back and do that at some point. Um... Damn. All right. Zhao Sheng Hao. Hello! Welcome! 
Hope you're doing well. Apologies if I said that incorrectly. Yeah, excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, see, I don't know if I'm going to be able to read that. And I don't actually know. Does... What game today? It's uh, Final Fantasy XIV. And I actually don't know... Would Google Translate? Oh, Simplified Chinese. Okay, hold on. How's it going? Going good. <laughs> there is a lot of talking in this game. It is an RPG. <laughs> But right now we're waiting because there's an event that's supposed to be spawning in this area any time now although honestly at this point i'm wondering if i'm gonna have better luck at one of the other locations it's supposed to be spawning but like i'm concerned that if i walk away that's when it's gonna pop the bird makes up for the talking. She's a very good bird. <sighs> Bleh. Any second now. What is this, anyway? Oh, it's a Sildin, the Sildin Subterran. Ah. But yeah, so I don't generally do merch drops, but I wanted to do the one for the limited edition Oh Dear Diner Thermos for Alan Wake 2 because I fucking love Alan Wake 2. And uh, to start with, I managed to get it. <laughs> and I'm very happy about that. But I don't know. Like, I know people who, like, track, like, big, big things like this. Like, you know, you always, I, I see people, like, talking about, like, oh, there's going to be, like, a new drop of, like, some limited edition, like, sneakers or something like that. And... I don't know how they do it. That shit stressed me the fuck out when I kept seeing, like, Bird is a girl. She is, because I say so. Her name is Hazel. Um, but, like, that shit stressed me out. Like, I was, I had the page open, and as it got closer to 11 my time, which was about the time that it was supposed to be dropping, um... I kept, like, refreshing it and just getting worried because it's just like, oh, God, what if I miss my chance? And, like, there were, there were like, accounts on Twitter that are just like, oh, this goes live in 35 minutes. And then, like, the I Am 8-Bit account is just like, five minutes. I'm just like, oh, my fucking God, what if I miss it? Thankfully, I was on my lunch break. Hello, Lucas. Um, but uh, I did manage to get one of the thermoses. Hello, Cal. And I was very excited about that. Um, it was terrifying uh, to an extent. Um, because uh, motherfucking goddamn... Uh, so what? It, the way that it worked is that the thermoses went live while you work out. I don't have anything else to do. I might as well put her in a looping animation. Um... The the uh, inventory went live, 
I added it to my cart, immediately went to my cart, proceeded to check out, and then I was put in a virtual queue. And I'm just like, oh no. <laughs> now, to their credit, they did the best they could to like make sure that like anybody who wanted to get one got a chance by like making it so that you could only get one of them. Um, but like I'm sitting there in the virtual queue, right? And it's showing me like, hey, here's what's in your cart. And it's like, it's the... The Oh Dear Diner Thermos by Arum uh, for Alan Wake 2. And it has a little thing underneath it that says available with a check mark. I'm just like, okay, that's good. A minute passes and the available line goes away. And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and then the next page loads up and it's just like, oh, we can't ship to your address. I'm just like, what? And then that goes away. I'm just like, oh, I guess it's fine then. I was in a virtual queue for a limited edition Alan Wake 2 thermos. Um, so the thing that says, like, oh, you, uh, we can't ship to your address, that goes away, so I guess it's fine. But, like, I, I make sure, like, I choose the correct, like, card to charge it to and everything, and I hit go, and I got it. I got my confirmation email. I am locked in to receive my... Official Alan Wake 2 Oh Dear Diner limited edition thermos. And my hands were shaking. Because <laughs> it's just like... Eh, I got so anxious trying to get this fucking thing. It's just like... How do people that do this on a regular basis manage to do it? How much? The thermos itself was $30. So I'm assuming that it's a really fucking good thermos. <laughs> but mainly it's for the collectible collectability purpose of it. I might fill it with coffee. Alan Wake 2 is coffee propaganda. Probably gets easier the more often they do it. I actually posed the question on Twitter and somebody said, a friend of mine, um, uh, Molly, just said, yeah, they just use bots. And I'm just like... Yeah, that makes sense. And then I replied with a gif of the T-800 from Terminator 1 getting crushed in the hydraulic press. And just like, this is me getting my limited edition thermos. <laughs> I'm excited to get it. I kind of wish that I remember... Um, I can't remember if it was the thermos or a useless item. A thermos is actually probably one of the least useless items I could actually buy. <laughs> Like, a thermos has utility. You drink from it. You can put coffee in it. You can put soup in it. And then, like, because I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, like, I got this, like... I'm gonna be the owner of this, like really nice yeah but $30 is too much yeah but I figure most of that is probably just like the branding more than anything like not just the fact that it's an Alan Wake 2 uh a piece of Alan Wake 2 merch with the oh dear diner like logo on it but also it's apparently from like a company that makes like high quality like uh products like this so, a, l a lot of that is probably the branding. And quite honestly, I'm fine with that. You know, like, it's one of those things where it's just, like, I could get a cheaper thermos, but I'm probably going to have to, like, replace it later on. But if I get this one, this is a really nice thermos, I could probably don't have to... Oh, fuck, here we go. Where are they? You motherfuckers. You have kept me waiting so fucking long. Get they ass. This is a level 7 fate. So I have, like, so few abilities right now. Hey, 
Hey, what's that thing in the middle there? That gray thing. What's the deal with that? It's probably not important. That probably just means that I'm in the uh, brick by stone brick version of this quest line. Alright. So now this guy's gonna spawn in, I'm guessing. Eep. Geld needs no abilities. I Geld only needs punch. I use my thermos to keep water cold. I never had one until recently, and I don't think I can live without one anymore. Ice melts quickly, and I live in Brazil. That's true, yeah. Like, yeah, ice can keep a drink cold, but if you want to keep, like, a drink cold. And also, like, ice also waters things down as they melt. And, like, you don't want that. We did it! Oh god, we can leave. <laughs> Get me the fuck out of here. Woo! I don't know why I just didn't use the Aethernet, but whatever. We're on our way. <clears throat> Damn it, I'm supposed to be Thousand Year Door tonight, but watching this is making me want to log in. Do it. Log in to the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. Have you taken a sample of one of them odd golems? Yeah, here you go, man. Oh, now ain't that special. That luster, that shine. It's stone, my guy. Can you smell it? Tis a send a profit, my friend. I don't want to, like, let the ad eat this next cutscene because this is... A really good cutscene. So I'm gonna wait a little bit. But yeah, in anticipation of getting this thermos, I've started looking at um so in our household, a lot of coffee drinkers in our household. And I think that's kind of part of the reason I became one to an extent. Sorry, I'm eating chips. <clears throat> but yeah, a lot of coffee drinkers in our household. We have two French presses, which make really good stuff, honestly. French press coffee, very good, gotta say. Um, but my concern is that I am... I'm gonna have this really nice thermos. I'm gonna want to put coffee in this thermos, you know? I'm gonna want to fill this fucking thermos up with some good-ass coffee. But I don't want to, like, use up all the coffee in the French press. 
whenever I, I do this. Damn fine, Thermos. Cal, don't start. <laughs> Good damn fine Thermos requires damn fine coffee. Um... <clears throat> Enjoy my meal? Thank you. It's not really a meal. I kind of finished my meal a little bit ago. I had uh, some pork gyoza. Um, what was I saying? I'm gonna go get groceries and also lamp and at least stream. Alright, have fun. Um, so in anticipation of possibly getting this thermos, I've been looking into, like, because French press makes good coffee. It is a very involved process to make. Um, so I've been looking at possibly getting a, like, a proper coffee pot. You know, glass carafe and everything. Carafe? Carafe? I actually don't know. Anyway. Listen, coffee is life. Let's be real here. Can you smell it? It is a scent of profit, my friend. That's some fine work you did, adventurer. Very fine indeed. Now, just as I promised you, I've prepared a payment that you're sure to enjoy. Don't be shy now, lass. You all need a bit of pampering from time to time. Huh? Oh. Ah, bonjour, my lovely. I appreciate that this cutscene is the same whether you have a male character or a female character. Ah, boobs. Excellent. Can we interest you in the, how can I say, puff puff? The boy. This way, we show you a good time. It will not hurt, I promise. Uh... Gulp? <laughs> ah oui, just relax. I can't believe French exists in Final Fantasy. Wait, no, of course it does. Ishgard. You will have the twice the fun with the eyes closed. Yes, ma'am. Brace yourself, here it comes. Puff, 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 puff. Have you ever felt anything so warm and soft? Just relax and enjoy. Puff, 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 puff. <laughs> Feels good, doesn't it? We sometimes indulge in a bit of the puff puff ourselves. Me thanks again for your cooperation, lass. Here's a little something extra, what ain't so fleeting. Oh, it's because Dragon Quest games go heavy on accents. <laughs> Au revoir! Er, I mean, <laughs> twas good meeting ye. Look forward to doing business with ye again sometime. Ah, oh, the adventurer! You were triumphant in your tussle against the towering titans, I trust. As it so happens, I have been hired by Amagina and Sons to craft an account of the aforementioned anomaly. I'd best begin before the focus on these fantastical foes falls out of fashion. By the way, who's this rabbit in green ears? Why is it why it is there? That's uh, my warrior of light, I Guild York. I got some art of her uh, from an artist fr that I follow and is really good art and I like to use it to block the in-game chat because that's a, apparently a courtesy thing. My remuneration is promised to be most refreshing and perhaps a touch risque. 
I fear I haven't an inkling as to what is implied, but I shall look forward to it nonetheless. Oh. Uh. Enjoy the puff puff, buddy. Quest complete. Okay, and now we gotta go to the Ruby Sea. I think Tamamizu is the Tamamizu might be the underwater one. Also, I just noticed the colors and the glamour. Yeah, what about him? The armor looks pretty cool in red. It does. Ah, fuck. Onokoro is the landlocked one. That's right. And this that good-ass ruby red. Uh, I should probably actually... Hold on. Let's go ahead and resume our new game plus. Oh. Alright, alright. That way. Change a bird to different? Different what? It's an appropriate outfit for being an author. This is the land of the samurai. Okay. So last time we beat the shit out of Susano. They didn't follow you, did they? I gave you enough time to escape? Yeah. Good, good. And don't worry, I'll try not to make a habit of it. Tide goes in, Imperials go out. Lisa's is not sure what to make of Isari. Something definitely happened here. I see several people who look like they might be injured. Let's give them a hand and find out what we missed. And there she goes. Hmm? Do I need help? Oh, I'll be fine. It's nothing to that won't heal. You should go after Lise. I thought she was being sarcastic for a second. Like, she's just like, oh no, Elise, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. But no, it was, it was, it was genuine. Hey, dog, how's it going? I remember you. You're the one who saved me from the Dome and Catches. Thanks to you, we managed to rescue the fishermen and my kidnapped comrades, one of whom joined the Confederacy with me long ago. It would have broken my heart to have, to bury, to have had to bury him. Oh, and if you're looking for the captain, you'll find him in the tavern. Oh, all right. Good to know. Whee! I wasn't really looking for him, but, like, you know, it's it's good to know that he's there. Ah, a flustered fisher. Hey, man, calm down. ooh -ah! Oh, you're not an imperial. Is it... Is it over? Bunny, bunny, banunny? Kami be praised. I was certain she would have us all killed and burn Isari to the ground. Or kill us after making us watch. Or barricade us in our homes before putting them to the torch. Wow, it sounds, um... Sounds like y'all been through it. Why so flustered, Fisher? Did you see a cute fish? <laughs> this senior is stupefied. Hey, stupid. I'm sorry. Hey, you, my child. When the fighting started, I tried to run and hide, but I fell and could not regain my feet. I thought for sure that we would all be slaughtered, but the pirates drove them off. Never thought I'd see the day when the Confederacy came to our aid. Damn. Wild, if true. Allie says, seems like everybody's fine. 
Back already? What have you learned? Bunny 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 At the tavern, you say? In that case, we should find Lise and speak with him together. Oh, is this one voiced? I kind of hope it's voiced. It seems like it's voiced. This looks like a voiced cutscene. They generally have a certain texture to their uh, camera work. Oh, Gosetsu! My Eorzean friends! Saw the smoke, did you? A pity you did not come sooner, though I gather you were busy elsewhere. Gosetsu! You're alive. You're all alive. And full of vim and vigor. <laughs> Did I not tell you I was no stranger to James? The fighting cannot have lasted long. Where are all the Imperials? Fled. They stood their ground for a time. Until it became clear that their Corjin reinforcements would not be coming. We took some few casualties, but my deeper regret is having let Yotsuyu slip through my fingers. That bodyguard of hers may be a halfwit, but he's a mean bastard on the battlefield. In any event, I imagine all involved are satisfied with this outcome. So far as the Empire is concerned, the Confederacy attacked Asari in retaliation for the Viceroy's actions. And without the aid of insurrectionists, I might add. Suffice it to say, we are prepared to be the subject of their undivided attention for the foreseeable future. Doma shall be free. This we swear. An impossible claim, yet one spoken with such conviction that I cannot choose but believe it. Your assistance would be most welcome. Nevertheless, we shall do our utmost to spare you undue danger. We are already in your debt. Nay, little miss, all debts are paid. For by your deeds, many still live who elsewise would not. Let both parties count their blessings, and may fortune continue to favor us all. You still seek to bring freedom to our people, then? You will go to Yansha. I have faith that our allies yet live. Once we have found them, we will plan our next step. Yansha was the crucible of the rebellion. What happened here pales in comparison to what Yotsuyo did there. Remember this. Fear changes men. Have care in whom you place your trust. And with that, we must take our wounded home. Oh, your shellback friend sends his regards and looks forward to your next meeting. Try not to die before then, eh? No promises. I have a very devil may care attitude. I might get fired, I will be jobless. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope things work out for you. Let me tell you, job searches suck. Just kind of in general. According to my map, the plains of Yansha lie to the west. Of note is the one river upon the shores of which Doma was built. This is it. We're finally headed into the heart of Doma. I can't help but be a little nervous. A silence in three parts. Though he is less in the picture of perfect health, Gosetsu is ready to resume his journey to, his journey to Yansha. 
You did well, Igeard. Were it not for the tremendous strength and bravery of you and yours, many innocent souls would have suffered terrible fates. Though I knew the Confederacy would be loath to meet the Imperials in battle, I knew I also knew that if they could win them over, that hold on. Let me take that again. <laughs> Though I knew the Confederacy would be loath to meet the Imperials in battle, I also knew that if any could win them over, it would be you. Truly yours is a heroic spirit that inspires men to rise above their circumstances, to strive for something greater. It will be an honor to travel with you again. Nah, no, I'm good. I can always sell myself. That's the... spirit? Question mark? Now then, let us not squander the Confederacy's gift. Conf Confederacy? Confederacy's gift. Yansha and my countrymen await. There is a tunnel to the southwest. We need but follow it to reach our destination. With me! Alright, Hazel. Onward to our next area. And another fun little introductory cutscene. I, all, I forgot that this tunnel was here. I forgot that this is how you get to Yansha. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the shores of Authord. We cannot rest here for long. This place is not safe. Mayhap no worries if thieves can breach our vaults. Nevertheless, it is our duty to protect these treasures, and we shall not fail for want of effort. So, this is why you abandoned your posts. And without a word of explanation at that. Rather thoughtless of you, was it not? Lady Yotsoyo, pray forgive us our absence, but our home was under attack, our vaults plundered by outsiders. Did you even pause to consider the possibility that it might be a diversion? What is the point of contracting your services if you are not here when they are required? It is my solemn charge to bring these vermin to heal. To torment them, body and soul, until all they hold dear is as bitter ashes in their mouths. And then you go and ruin everything! There's naught to be gained in belaboring the point. All that remains is to administer your punishment. Sexy punishment? Or like punishment punishment? Wait, my lady! I guess it really kind of depends on your point of view. Trying to move my mic around one second. No. No, it's no good. There's just no joy in it. No release. There, there needs to be some investment. There were negligent imbeciles deserving of punishment, but it was hardly personal. Ten thousand such caution could not satisfy me half so well as a single domo. Damn, so she like a uh, freak freak. Cool sword. Hmm. And what do we have here? 
One of the vaunted treasures of the Red? The craftsmanship is certainly impressive. Mayhap we can use it to make amends. How long before Lord Xenos reinstates me, do you reckon? I've got unfinished business back in Aeorzea. I need all my name days to come at once again. Is serving me really so unbearable? At least pretend to enjoy, you witless lump! If you are so desperate to earn a way back to Eorzea, then be quiet and do as you're told. And bring that sword while you're at it. There's something about just Yatsuyu and Grinwat by themselves. Just sort of walking along a beach. Like, no other, like, Imperial Guards or anything like that. Just the two of them. Yankya! I remember the silence, how the talking stopped when we first set foot on the plains of Yansha. Before us stood yet another wall. And through a great Magitek field, we glimpsed Doma Castle. I'll never forget the sight. Or the anger I felt that day. So angry. She is intense. Who? Yatsuyu? Life. Liberty. Hope. Pursuit of so happiness. Much so much taken. As we walked through that war-torn land, no one said a word. What was that fucking Will Smith, uh, Oscar bait movie called? Not Pursuit of Happiness, but, like, the one where he is, like, he's, like, responsible for, like, a car crash that, like, drastically affects the lives of, like, a number of people. And he decides that he is going to end his own life and then have his organs donated to those people. The ones that need it. It's... It, it's something pounds. I can't remember what it's called. But I remember... I think I watched a review of that. And the reviewer pointed out that... The specific way that he ends his life by dunking himself in a uh, bathtub full of, like, venomous jellyfish is a... The, the way he goes about it would actually render his organs unable to be used in transplants. Like, the movie doesn't acknowledge that because they need their bittersweet but uplifting ending. Oh, wait, I just realized. I'm supposed to be doing this as a red mage. Whoops, uh, I need to find... One second, guys, I'll be right back. Ooh! Da da. Uh, show me sanctuary. 
Okay. Now we can head back. <laughs> I just remember hearing that that movie felt very artificial and just like very clear, just very blatant Oscar bait. There's a weariness, a desolation, an emptiness. Yeah, it's fucked up. Hey, Lise, how's it going? This place, I... I don't know what I expected. Hmm. Yes, this is far enough. Ere we proceed further, I should speak of Yansha and what became of her. Of what lies beyond that great wall at the heart of Doma. And we should be glad to hear it. But is it wise for us to have this conversation here on the road, out in the open? Once your caution will be warranted, but no longer. Xenos did not linger after he crushed the rebellion. He appointed Yotsuyu to act in his stead and quit these lands for fresh sport. The acting viceroy was no less merciless than her master. Without warning, her men would march into villages and search for radical elements, killing and torturing any who dared resist. And then, as quickly as they had come, they left. Satisfied that the memory of the purgers would keep the people in line, she relaxed her grip on Yansha. What need for the leash when the dog is broken? The village of Namai lies to the west. Though I doubt the Imperials are present, let us proceed with caution. So we don't have to be careful about what we say because uh, there isn't any Imperial presence here because nobody's going to try and fucking do anything. <laughs> I've been trying to muster up the the drive to, like, watch something new recently. Um, and I almost had something. You know, I remembered, oh, yeah, uh, Peacock is going to have uh, Kung Fu Panda 4, isn't it? And I went and I checked, and it's not on there until June 21st. It's just like, well, all right. <laughs> it seems peaceful enough to me. Even if there aren't any soldiers in the village, it would be foolish to simply stride in and announce ourselves. There she is, the humble village of Namai. How delicious her rice, how sweet her persimmons. Too long has it been since I saw her with my own eyes, and for a mercy the Imperials appear to be absent. Sick. Gosetsu is demonstrating uncharacteristic restraint. Let no man claim that I am reckless. Prudence has ever been my watchword. I gailed, venture closer if you would and confirm that there are no soldiers looking about. Me? Forgive me, my friend, but unlike Yugiri, I am not made for the shadows. You sure aren't. You are large. Hmm. No Imperials on this wall. We may be in luck. I don't see a single Imperial soldier. Dope. Then there is no need to remain hidden. Let us go and greet them as friends. I'm sure that will go super well. I'm going too. People of Namai, hearken to me. We come in peace and desire only information to learn of recent events. That's one way to announce yourself, I suppose. Isn't that the general? Lord Gorsetsu, can't be preserved, you're right. He lives. Mm, this doesn't seem like a particularly friendly response. That's a wolf man. I say, brothers and sisters, is Ultimis? Why do you regard me as one with a wild beast? Why is there fear in your eyes? Why do you tremble so? Ah, but of course. You fear me, a vengeful spirit of the dead. Rest assured, naught could be further from the truth. 
For am I not corporeal? Are my feet not firmly set upon the ground? <laughs> I'm not sure if that's specifically the do? issue. If they catch him here, you know what will happen. Of all the times for him to turn up. Has the old fool lost his mind? From us. I know not who you are to speak thus to your elders, boy, but mine only desire is to be received with the hospitality owed a humble traveler, not the fear and trepidation one might afford a wrathful shape. What? What are you going on about? Actually, never mind, just come with me, now! Damn, all right. Hmm. Well, not exactly how I was hoping this would go, but all right. I do not understand. Was it not clear that we wish to remain a while? Judging from the reactions of the villagers, it's probably for the best that we left. Who is this boy, and where is he taking us? Hello, Namai youth. Gotta go into a cutscene so he can tell us our, his name, and it can be updated in the overworld. I don't know who you people think you are, but do you have any idea what would happen to us if you were found in our village? Yeah, and you address us with unwarranted spite! I have let your impropriety pass until now, but no longer! Who are you, boy, to speak to me thus? Know you not who I am? I am Issei of Namai, a farmer like my father before me and his father before him. I wouldn't expect a man like you to know who I am, but I know you. We all do. Lord Kayan's retainer and re leader of the rebellion, Gosetsu. Notorious fugitive wanted dead or alive by the Empire. Oh. Ha 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 ha. Is that what all this is about? I am hardly the first man to earn the ire of the Empire, nor will I be the last. Was not Namai home to brave and true warriors who fought beneath our banners for king and country? They fought and they died, every last one. And then the Imperials came looking for more, because of them. They were this close to killing us all, to burning our village to the ground. We've only just begun to enjoy some semblance of peace. Never again. Never again, do you understand? We've had enough of you and yours. Whatever it is you're plotting, leave us out of it. Hmm. Impassioned as pleased may be, surely he must know that I cannot leave things as they are. But for now, I shall respect his wishes. We must continue on towards our final destination. The House of the Fierce. Proud headquarters of the Dolmen Liberation Front. There is a secret entrance to the north of Namai, by way of a small spring. Come, I will show you. Okay. This must be the spring. Fuck, Lisa, it it sure is, isn't it? Hold on, guys. I'm on my way. And there I was thinking our swimming days were behind us. Who's this guy? Walking around here, no pants on. Abandoning my post? I'll have you know I'm more than capable of keeping watch and fishing at the same time. Yeah, alright. This way, this way. We must dive into the water. Huh? Have no fear, High Guild. It is but a short distance. You need not hold your breath for long. Bro, I don't need to hold my breath at all, and there he goes. Orb. Ooh. 
I forgot that they have you do this whole thing. It's kind of neat, honestly. I like this. It's been a while since I've done a lot of these areas, so... I don't always remember exactly uh, what it is that happens in them. So, it's nice when I am... You know, surprised. And pleased. Kami, be praised! I know you! Ugh. Ugh. Ha ha ha! How invigorating! Congratulations, my friends! You are come to the House of the Fierce! We're what? I... I require but a moment to catch my breath. It is not often that the Liberation Front Guard welcomes heroes from distant lands, but he is doing his best to compose himself. You are Igild Shork, are you not? We were told of your coming. My what? Heroes of Eorzea, we of the Dolmen Liberation Front are honored to receive you. If you would be so good as to follow me. I would be so good. I'm super good, in fact. Aw, yo Afa White's bulk. This seems voiced. This is the house of the fish. Hell yeah. But there are so few of them. Did you Many miss the part spirits where remain in okay. hiding following the rebellion? Many others gave their lives for their nation. We are the stubborn remainder. Even accounting for our comrades in the field, we are at a fraction of our former strength, tis true. Yet we few are patriots, brothers in arms, prepared to fight with every fiber of our being to set our people free. Ever are we hopeful that others will join our cause, but never did I dream that you would journey so far. Yugiri! In a new outfit. Very nice. Yugiri! Gods, it's good to see you. You look great, by the way. Have you been here long? <laughs> I returned but recently, having concluded my mission. Oh, it is good to see you again, my friends. Did I hear aright? Your mission is concluded? Then you have found the young master. Ere we speak of that, I would know by what fortuitous circumstance our friends came to be here. Bunny 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 bunny. The Empire's crimes are all too familiar. This, my heart goes out to your people. We wanted to stay and fight, believe me, but we knew it wouldn't work. We needed more time to rebuild, and more allies to stand with us against the Empire. So we decided to come here and help you free Doma. You're going to sleep? To All right. You, to show Have a good night. You're not alone, and that the Garleans can be beaten if we work together. I'd like to think we proved that in the Ruby Sea. That you did, Lise, and far more besides. Needless to say, your assistance would be most welcome. Yo, we met your parents, by the way. They say hi. Here, here. Now then, Yugiri, you must tell me of your search for our master. Yes, please. I want to get to the Azim step as soon as possible. Lest you wonder, he speaks of Lord Hien, son of Lord Kayen, who perished during the rebellion. When it became clear that all hope of victory had gone... Lord Hien bade us deliver as many of our people as we could to safety beyond our borders. But as his father's heir, he was determined to fight on, and so he did. Until he suffered a grievous wound in battle and vanished without a trace. Until now. For I have found Lord Hien, seen and spoken with him, on the Azim Steppe. Hell yeah. O oh, boundless and merciful Kami, the young master lives. Tell me, was he well? Did his wound yet ail him? Where is he now? Have you brought him back to us? Okay, calm down, Gosetsu. 
You may take comfort in the knowledge that he is hale and whole. However, when I invited him to return with me to Doma, he had this to say. If Doma yet thirsts for the blood of patriots and tyrants, I shall offer unto her my blade. But if she has had her fill of bitter draughts, I shall offer unto her conquerors my head. That's a terrible Lord Hean Thrice impression. Thrice did I declare to him that no true son or daughter of Doma would ever accept such a sacrifice. But for all my passion, he would not be swayed. Learn the truth of her heart and return to me, he said. And so I left him. the mantle of leadership too soon. Yet there is wisdom in them all the same. If the people no longer yearn to be free, it would be folly to rekindle the fires of war. To suffer our master, to surrender his life and forsake all hope of freedom is by far the greater folly. I will not go to face my fallen comrades having done naught to stop it. That's the spirit. Nor I, Shadow Walker, nor I. But we need not rouse our comrades to battle this day. Let us instead welcome our honored guests and allow them a moment of respite. I could use a bit of respite. Uh huh. Speak with your friends. How's it going, Ali? Say, how's standing in the rain working for you? As you can see, they went to great lengths to disable the Aetherite. Apparently, in the twilight days of the rebellion, they feared that Xenos would be willing to risk sending unattuned conscripts. That said, it is hardly irreversible. They had the necessary materials. It would be a challenge to repair it alone, but may hap with my brother's help. Please. Oh, Lee's got a whole ass cutscene. You should hear this, Igale. He was just telling me about Xenos and the Rebellion. Hey, dude. What you have to understand is that it was not a simple matter of num- I don't know why I'm giving him this voice. It was not a simple matter of numbers. The bulk of the Twelfth never even took the field. It was Xenos' stratagems that won the war. They were unlike anything we'd had ever we had ever seen. His formations were unorthodox, bewildering. We honestly thought we had him on the back foot. One moment we were pressing home our advantage, and next we were surrounded and at his mercy. And then he stood before us, his cornered prey, alone and unarmed. He beckoned us to come forward and fight for our lives. One by one, my comrades charged. Fearless and unflinching, he would dance amidst their blades for a time, and then draw close, as if to embrace. One after another. He made us watch. Do you understand? He made us watch. What kind of monster enjoys killing people? I do not think there was any joy in it, nor justice, nor morality, nor meaning. To him, the weight of one life is no different from that of a thousand. A challenge had been issued and was accepted, but on finding us no challenge at all, his objective changed. There were tales of Imperial soldiers being flayed for slaughtering families, for breaking brave men's spirits. Only later did I come to understand why. He did not desire obedience, he desired hate, and men consumed by it. A new battle, a new enemy, a new challenge. The hunt, I am told he called it, a hunt without end. And when all our best lay dead and broken, he left. He left, muttering that we had bored him. But our weapons at least held his interest, for he took a fallen samurai sword, having grown fond of it. 
Since that day, he has ever wielded Far Eastern blades. He is said to be fascinated by ones with storied histories, and so soldiers who seek to curry his favor often present those of defeated enemies as gifts. Wow, he sounds like a loser. It's like it's all a game to him. People are suffering, dying, and he's collecting swords. We all feel the shame, but my lady, you must understand. On the battlefield, reasons do not matter. The victor is not the just, but the strong, and the strong become the heroes of the tale. We were not strong enough. It is not sufficient to be right, to be just. Without strength, our path has but one end. Fucked up if true. Yugiri! Though our resources are limited, our stronghold is secure. You may rest and recover here in safety. Dope. Go, Setsu. Mayhap a brief respite is in order. Were I twenty years younger, these wounds would not warrant a second glance. Alas, no samurai has the strength to defeat of that villain old age. But what say you to the House of the Fierce? Compared to your rising stones, I concede it may seem somewhat lacking. But it has been a haven these past ten years to all who would set Dorma free. Regrettably, our efforts in that time have come to little and less. When the Emperor died, we were so sure the hour of our liberation was at hand. But Zeno soon put paid to that, with the aid of Yotsuyu and the secrets she sold. Damn. I Geld, I do hope you have taken this opportunity to rest and recover. Yeah, bunny 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 It is well that you spoke with one of the survivors of that massacre. To defeat one's foe, one must first understand his true nature. As the Alamegan resistance has struggled, so too has the Dorman Liberation Front. More so, perhaps, given the precarious position in which we find ourselves in the wake of our doomed rebellion. We are few, and our enemies legion. We are weak, and they strong. Yet with your help, I believe that there is little we cannot achieve. I only hope the depth of our predicament has not shaken your commitment to our cause. Never. Victory will be ours. Aye, that it will. With the hero of Eorzea on our side, we cannot lose. I think, so... I often think about the... Xenos is one of those characters that because he keeps popping up in the game, um... When considering how he relates to your Warrior of Light, he's one of those characters that you can't really get away from, um, given his importance to the narrative. And... I tend to kind of factor in my own personal thoughts on the narrative into Igale's overall story. So just kind of as an example... I didn't really think a whole lot of Xenos initially. He seemed kind of like... He seemed like a kind of a boring villain to me. You know? It's just like, oh, he's he's a villain who enjoys the sport of it. It's just like, okay, and... Like, I've seen a million of these kinds of villains before. Ones who just like, oh, give me a challenge. You know, it's... It's boring to me. So, I feel like he becomes considerably more interesting later on. Especially once, a uh, bit of a spoiler, once his sort of parasocial relationship with the Warrior of Light kind of kicks into full gear. Um, but that initial sort of like ambivalence, I guess, towards Xenos, um, I kind of work that into Igeld's overall, like, story, you know? Where it's like, you know, after facing him in Ralgar's Reach and then learning more about him uh, at, when getting to Yansha, um, 
I feel like I gailed I gailed hears all this stuff about like oh the hunt and how he gets bored with people and I feel like she doesn't really view him as she views him as a threat but in the way that you would view, like, a rabid animal as a threat, you know? Where it's just, like, Igale's kind of stance towards him is that, like, putting him down is honestly more for the benefit of, like, the balance of the world in general. Yugiri would like to have a word word with you. As opposed to like any anything sort of like personal or directly related to, you know, the wars we're fighting for the liberation of Doma, for the liberation of Alamigo. It's less about those and more just like, yeah, if this guy's left to run around do pulling the shit he's pulling, um, that is going to be a net negative for the rest of the world. Now then, I should be glad to discuss our next course of action. Though, now that I think of it, I myself have been away from Dorma for some time. And even after my return, I s the search for Lord Hian com 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 fucking goddamn commanded my full attention. Mayhap it would be to both our benefit if we were to see the reality of Dorma for ourselves. For did my lord not bid me learn the truth of her heart? Let us do this together, Igeld. Let us go among the people with our own eyes and bear witness to their hardship. Girl trip! As a foreigner in these lands, your reputation does not precede you. Moreover, unlike, unlike Gosetsu, I can accompany you without attracting unwanted attention. I'd like to join you if that's alright. Girl trip! By all means, we should be glad of your company and your perspective. Girl trip. Namai is not far. I say we begin there. Uh-huh. Girl trip. Da -da -da. Ba -da -da. And this time we'll just work to Namai. Because, you know, it's, it's, it's whatever. I wonder if it would let me warp to the House of the Fierce right now, given that, uh... The fucking shit's busted. Wee. Ow. Yugiri told me to wear this outfit. My legs haven't felt this light and airy in ages. Yeah, you do just kind of wear like, armored leggings. It's strange. Ah, I gailed. I'm glad to see that you too put thought into your garments given the covert nature of our, acti of our activities. No, I didn't. Huh? Hmm? I should think my reason's obvious. To enter the village while wearing the garb of the shinobi would be beyond reckless. Right. I've done the ninja quest line. <laughs> I forgot. Because I'm trained as a ninja, Yugiri's just like, oh yeah, you're a nin you you're you're a ninja, right? Yeah, it's it's good that you're not wearing the ninja garb. It's just like, oh, okay. We shall pose as traveling merchants. I Gail is our leader, and we as her assistants. Are there any objections? I'm not really the merchant type, but if you think this is the best way to go about it, I'll trust you. Uh-huh. Then without further ado, let us begin. Oh, Nami. The fuck? Bird. Excuse me, ma'am. Weren't you the one who came with the general? No? Mm, I see. My mistake. It must have been some other very tall bunny woman with large green ears and bright red clothing. 
It warms my heart to see traveling merchants in Namai again. Though the Imperials never sealed our borders, folks like you have taken to avoiding Yansha ever since the Rebellion. Unfortunately, that has only made it harder for us to survive. You may have noticed, but we lack for a great many things. It was not much better before, true, but it has only gotten worse. I think it's funny that there's a specific sprint animation, but basically any other uh, kind of movement, you, you just, like, it's the same animation but sped up. You, a merchant? Pray forgive, forgive, my, forgive me my skepticism, but you strike me less as a woman of commerce and more a common sellsword. Give your best impression of Hancock. Bunny, 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 bunny. That does little to assuage my, assuage my doubts, and if anything, makes me clutch my coin purse tighter. Damn, alright. Give your best smile. Smile? I stand corrected. Such a warm and cordial nature you possess. I pray you forgive me my earlier rudeness. It has been some time since the Viceroy came to our village to purge it of insurgents. Those who resisted suffered terribly, and those who did not fared little better. We who remain know better than to risk her ire. And the Imperials demand laborers, we comply. They demand conscripts to send as soldiers to other provinces, we obey. Ours is a difficult life, with little in the way of luxuries. I know not what you sell, merchant, but I doubt that I, nor anyone else here, can afford it. I sell... Air. Breathe it in. It's free. Hello, Wolfman. Traveling merchant, with meat perchance. <sighs> Better to not to know when I have so little coin. I feel your eyes upon me. You know not the lupin. Surely you have not been long in Yansha, else you would. For generations we served the lords of Doma, compassionate and wise as they were. But the memories of such times fade with every passing day, as others will tell you. I like the lupin. I'm a little upset that they don't get a tribal quest, quest line. In the boy. Why am I giving this guy this voice? Foreign peddlers? In the my. Whatever it is you sell, I have no money to buy. Perhaps you should go elsewhere. Saying that, I know of no village in Yansha that has fared any better. Once, I would have directed you to the samurai lords of Monzen, had they not all died in battle or in the purges. There is the Doman Enclave, of course, but that lies beyond the Daryu Moon Gates. Needless to say, the Imperials are disinclined to let any but their own pass. Damn, sucks. I've seen these looks before. That same weary hopelessness. It's just like Alagana. I gailed. What have you learned? Uh, bunny 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 bunny. Lise and I encountered much of the same. They have been pushed beyond the brink. I expected frustration and disillusionment, but not so much that they would come to question the wisdom of opposing imperial rule in the first place. Unless we convince them otherwise, I fear I cannot convince Lord Hien to return, and without him... Yugiri is uncertain how, to best, how best to proceed. Let us not yet lose hope. Though the situation in Amai is bleak, mayhap it is not so elsewhere. I wish to speak with, the, with others outside the village. Lise and I will look for farmers in the paddies to the east. Igeld, I ask that you look to the south. Surely they cannot all have given in to despair. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Hey there, little one. How are you doing? Uh-oh. Tiny caterpillar. Boo! Boo! Aww. Buzzer! Anyway. Helping you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you hadn't come along, I don't know what I would have done. Bunny, 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 bunny. What am I doing out here? Oh, looking for flowers. I need some for my parents' graves. The ones my brother and I usually bring are yellow, because it was my mother's favorite color. You haven't seen any, have you? Hmm. Let me go look. Woo! Golden Carnation! Let me just grab one of these bad boys. Ah, a hungry, hungry caterpillar. Die. Shall we, Hazel? Yo, check it out. Only yellow ones will do. Mother wouldn't have wanted anything else. Here you go. Ah, you found some. Thank you so much, miss. That's twice you've saved me now. Um, if you have some time to spare, maybe you could come with me? I'm sure mother and father would want to meet the woman who showed me such kindness. We buried them on a cliff to the west of the village. There's a path through the terraces. I'll show you. Oh, uh, will you now? Okay. Hazel. Shall we? There she is. We're here. Just give me a moment to put down the flowers. I'll introduce you. Oh. They love to meet travelers and hear tales of faraway places. Maybe you could tell them one about your homeland. Uh-huh. Azami! Azami! Are you there? Azami! Oh, hey, kid. What in the... You should not be here. Get away from my sister! Why? Don't be so rude. She saved me from monsters, brother. She even helped me pick flowers for mother and father. Go back to the village. Now. You're scaring me. I said go. Stay inside and lock the door until I return. Go ahead. Don't think me ungrateful. My sister's the only family I have. If you saved her, then thank you. But it changes nothing. I asked you to leave, and now I'm asking you again. I'm not going to report you to the Imperials or anything stupid like that, but it's too dangerous for you to stay here. So please, I'm begging you, just leave us alone. Is that really what you want? How many times do I have to tell you? If they find you here, we're the ones they'll punish. And it'll be a thousand times worse than before. My mother and father believed in the Rebellion. They left to fight for Lord Kyan. They came home on a cart driven by Imperial soldiers. The soldiers demanded that the families of the insurgents present themselves or else they'll burn the whole village to the ground. So we did. What choice did we have? They beat us in the village square, with their hands, with sticks, with anything. They kicked us while we lay on the ground, begging for mercy. They made us denounce my mother and father, call them fools, call them traitors, say they deserve to die. I heard them laugh, but I dared not to look up. One leaned close and whispered in my ear that he'd do to my sister if they had what he'd do to my sister if they had to come back. They're gone, but they're never far. All it takes is the wrong word in the wrong ear and they'll return. I don't have to dig another grave if I'm lucky. Whatever you came here to do, leave us out of it. If you want to fight the Imperials, go and fight them on your own. You can't help us. No one can. This is all we've got, so please don't take it from us. Well, <clears throat> away we go.
ladies. What's wrong, I gailed? Did something happen? You could say that. You are come at a good time, I gailed. We but recently completed our inquiries. What of yours? Ah, oh, bunny 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 bunny. I... I was not aware of these events. The boy, Issei, he told you all of this? Such disgraceful, despicable crimes. If I knew the men responsible, I would not hesitate to hunt them down and... Forgive me, that outburst was unbecoming. No, no, keep going. <laughs> Let her cook. The more I learn of the Imperial's actions in my absence, the more difficult I find it to marshal my emotions. Could Lord Hien have foreseen this? And our people's spirits would be broken so. Though at first I scoffed at his pronouncement, it feels all too possible now that he might resolve to surrender himself. There's got to be something we can do, right? We can't just give up and go home. Not after everything we've been through. A new ruby tithe. Yugiri is troubled by what she has seen. Despite everything we have seen and learned, I refuse to renounce this cause. We should return to the House of the Fierce and consult with our comrades. Perhaps, perhaps together we might... Did you hear that? Quickly, we must find a place to hide. Huh? What? Uh, okay. Is someone coming? I didn't hear anything. Behind me, I guilt. They came from the south. Waiting. <laughs> Energy drink done. Everything seems fine. Imperials. Ah. Beans. Oh. Oh yeah, there they are. Oh, wow, I hate this guy already. Do I get to kill him? I don't actually remember. Finally. I come before you today to deliver an announcement of the highest import. So listen well. While on a charitable mission to Isari village, the acting Viceroy and her personal guard came under attack from Confederate forces. This brazen, unconscionable act cannot and will not go unanswered. As loyal subjects of the Empire, who enjoy her safety and prosperity, you have a duty to defend her as well. Now, oh boy. There is no cause for alarm. We have no intention of sending ill-trained fodder to the front line. Those who are selected will be expected to perform rudimentary tasks. Cleaning and maintenance and so forth. You will serve only as long as you are needed. Afterwards, you'll be free to return to your homes. You, you first. Oh, he's doing the walk. <laughs> the Empire has no pressing need of cleaners. This is but a thinly veiled attempt to intimidate those who supported the Confederacy's actions and isolate any whose loyalty they already suspect. 
And lastly, you. That should suffice for now. Don't worry. I will be back before you know it. Listen to the elders while I'm away, and do not play outside the village. Everything is going to be fine. I love you, all right? Remember that I love you. Oh, he knows that if he goes, he's not coming back. We thank you for your cooperation. Rest assured that this will all be over very soon, once the Confederacy has been made to pay our own ruby tithe. That sounds like a conflict that will definitely end quickly and won't be dragged on for god knows how fucking long. Damn, whole village reduced to five people. Shit. There's no telling what might happen to those people. We have to help them. And we shall. But before all else, we must needs ascertain their destination. I doubt this is the first village the Garleans have visited, nor is it like to be the last. I will track these men. Will you help me? Yeah, absolutely. You kidding? Pray return to our headquarters and tell the others what you saw here. Should we have need of reinforcements, I would know that they are ready. But I should be going with you. I came here to fight! Soon enough, Lise. Soon enough. For now, we must proceed with caution. Lise is filled with bloodlust. I know that. I do. It's just... When I saw them rounding those people up... Look, if anything happens... She is desperate all, to kill. Call for us. I mean it, Yugiri. Anything at all. Hello, Amo Abatata 7274. Welcome. Damps. Regardless of what the officer claimed, I fear they have crueler designs for these people. With me, Highgeld, we must hurry. Well, oh, and, you yeah, know, there she goes. Let's go! Wow, you got changed quickly. Given the circumstances, we must take make every effort to refrain from needless violence. Wow, I hit that sentence like a ton of fucking bricks. Here, it is a Shinobi's tool for when a more discreet approach is required. Use it with these darts. They are coated with an alchemical reagent that induces a deep sleep. There are soldiers patrolling ahead. Were circumstances different, we could engage them directly, but for the village's sake, we dare not risk it. We will use our blowguns to incapacitate them. Regardless of your familiarity with such weapons, you are a veteran warrior, and I am sure we will it will come naturally to you. Nevertheless, practice is in order. Ooh. I think this is the first time we get to do the uh the the shooting gallery style gameplay. So this is something that was added for uh Stormblood. It's honestly a lot of fun. There, the soldier on the hill below. Take aim and fire. If the dart finds its mark, he should fall within moments. Search your surroundings for the Imperial Soldier. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out, target the soldier, and use the blowgun with R2 slash X. Yeah. Imperial Patrol. Is there anything else I can aim at? One of the fun things to do in, in uh, situations like this is, like click on things that you're not supposed to be clicking on. This motherfucker doesn't know it. doesn't have any idea what about to happen. Phew! Get fucked, idiot. Well done, my friend. Now give me your map. There's a vantage point from which you may observe and fire upon the other soldiers. Worry not. I shall be with you every step of the way, keeping watch for other patrols. We shall speak again on the other side of the river. I need to disable auto advance for a bit. Uh. Yep. Get 
Get out of here, you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's shoot some motherfuckers. Okay, what do we got here? We got that guy, got that guy. Got that guy down there. And we got this guy. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. Fuck this dude. This guy could just eat shit. The last Imperial soldier crumples to the ground to sleep. You put away your blowgun and prepare to rejoin Yugity. you doing? Excellent work, Eigeld. They appear to be none the wiser. The villages are being held in the castrum to the south. Fluminous. Wow, castrum fluminous? I can't imagine anything important or uh, deeply disturbing to Eigeld's lore ever happening there. Once it was the base of operations for the Gallian occupation, until ten or so years ago, when they relocated to Doma Castle. Now the castrum serves as little more than a storage facility. That's why two sentries near the gate. As you have proven yourself to have impeccable aim, I would ask that you have incapacitate them. This very hill should afford you a clear shot. Sick. I love how much practice I'm getting with this. Who the fuck is that? Hold up. Momoko Yuki. Oh, that's a very good outfit, actually. This person has some fucking style. Hold on, what top is that? That is... The Hooded Fireglass Leather Vest. It's a good fucking outfit. I wish I could wear hats. It sucks that I can't. I'm so mad. Okay, there's supposed to be two of them. I see one. Oh, maybe the other one's inside. I bet if I fucking dart this guy, the other one will come out to check on him. Oh yeah, there he is. There he goes. What was that? Get shit on, dumbass. Get absolutely destroyed. Uh. The two sentries slumber side by side. No others appear to be forthcoming. Yugi Lee, I did it. Poise me, please. Fine work, Igeld. You have a gift for the ways of the shinobi. The way is clear. Let us move closer and see what has become of the villagers. Ahim him. All right. Uh. Get out of here. Is this a voiced cutscene? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, hey, there they are. Sir, the Yan from the other villages are assembled for inspection. Very good. I will address them personally. Attention! Shortly you all will be transported to the facility on the distant shore. Your duties, as have been previously informed, will be rudimentary in nature. More specifically, you will be tasked with the repair and maintenance of various arms and armaments, as well as Magitech devices. Magitech? 
But we're farmers. We don't know the first thing about Magitech. It'd take us months, if not years, to learn how to do that kind of work. The material in question was damaged when your kith and kin rose up in rebellion. Therefore, you bear responsibility for its repair. If you cannot perform your duties, you will learn how. And if you cannot learn how, then your villagers may find themselves at the mercy of the Confederacy and other radical elements. Is that what you want? Why would they be at the mercy? You know, whatever. Deal with this rabble. I am needed at the castle. The purple trimmed motherfucker. This is no temporary measure. Those men and women will die in servitude. Hmm. Once they are taken to the other facility, it will be too late. If we are to intervene, we must do so now. Agreed? Uh-huh. Then let us be about it. Surely this won't have any negative consequences at all. Yugiri is in her element. Despite the urgency of the situation, we must still proceed with the utmost caution to ensure the safety of the villagers. To wit, we must infiltrate the castrum without raising the alarm. I will deal with any soldiers near the entrance. Stand watch for others approaching from the north until you hear my signal. Surveying. 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 For mercy, you spy no Imperial patrols bound for the cast room. A hawk's cry pierces the silence. Yugurti is waiting. Gay Shork. Yeah, it's Pride Month. It'd be like that sometimes. Speak softly, lest the others hear us. What are the outside? Bunny, 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 bunny. That is good. We may proceed. We may proceed as planned. These ones shall not soon wake. However, the others are too close to the villagers. Incapacitating them as I did these ones is far too risky. Fortunately, a solution presents itself. I would have you disguise yourself as an imperial soldier and convince them that a changing of the guard is in order. You have your pick of uniforms, and you shall not protest. The tiny one. Attempting to wear this uniform might force you to confront certain uncomfortable realities better left unexplored. <laughs> yeah? I think I'd rock it. This uniform is far too large for you to wear comfortably. Okay, fine. This uniform appears to be more or less your size. With all due care and consideration, you relieve the sleeping soldier of their uniform. Uh-huh. You have chosen one to your liking, then? Excellent. I shall hide these ones where none will find them. Hmm. Hmm. Our sleeping beauties have been laid to rest in the bunks. Oh, and while I was in the barracks, I happened upon these spare uniforms in case the items in your possession are not to your liking. Okay. This kabuto and teko should match the uwagi, hakama, and choka in your possession. And with that, you have a full set. I'm sure that once you change, it will seem as though it was bespoke. You'll need to give the soldiers st guarding the villages a proper, a proper imperial salute to complete the deception and convince them to come here, where I will be waiting to deal with them. Sack appears to be filled with nine infinite supply of Uwagi, Hakama, and Choka. Okay, uh, so I guess I've got, like, alright, uh, can't wear that, but, you know, whatever. Hold on. They're just giving me a full set of these? the... hold on. Here we go. Okay, you know what? 
I make this shit look good, to be fair. It's too bad I can't wear hats. While in uniform, perform an imperial salute to the guards. Hello, fellow conscript. I know how to do this. Is it time already? Not that I'm complaining, mind, but I thought the others would be gone longer. Ahim him. Hello, ma'am. Changing of the guard, is it? About bloody time. Just looking at these on is making me depressed. Reminds me of when I was in their shoes, pissing myself in fear. Yeah, alright. Yuri, did you kick their asses yet? Hell yeah. Just, just a few more years. Honk shoe. These ones shall sleep soundly along with the others. Oh no! And with that, there are no more soldiers to trouble us. You can dispose of that accursed uniform too. It's time to guide the villagers to freedom. Alright, hold on, let me just... There we go. I gotta... Get my girl back out. Sup, fuckers. It's your girl, I Gailed Sjork. You'll never guess what we did. This seems like Listen a voice cutscene. Listen to me, all of you. We have dealt with the Imperials for now, but you must flee this place quickly. I really want to see those giant rings in use, like, animated. Dealt with them? Oh no. You didn't kill them, did you? No? Are you mad? There's no escaping the Empire. Running will only make it worse. <sighs> to oh, stay she's is to mad. die. You know this to be true. Even if you lack the will to fight, surely you have the will to live. Or has that too been beaten out of you? Is this what has become of Doma? You were Lord Heon's retainer, trained to fight without fear and obey without question. Well, we're not. We're lost and afraid. We hate this, all of this, but we can't do a damn thing to change it. And trying will only make it worse. It's a not trying existence. will also make it worse. That's what we got. And when people like you come here pretending it can be different, it, it doesn't help, all right? Peace, boy. Peace. She came to help, and for that we should be grateful. Elder, your face. Hell of a shiner they we gave you. We have scars. Some too many to bear. Too many battles, too much lost, our friends, our family, oh, even our liege. We who survived are forced to bend the knee, to sell our souls and surrender our dignity. Fucked up if true. How are we to lift our heads when this shame weighs so heavily upon us? Your courage, your resolve, they are as salt in our wounds.
If they only knew what you would do for them, my lord. You have made your plight clear, and I shall impose my will no more. But know this, brothers and sisters of Doma. For all you have suffered, for all the horror and the ignominy, you are still here. You are still alive. My lord, my lord prays you value your life as highly as he does. As for me, I swear by all the Kami in creation that I will free you from this torment, no matter the cost. If the Imperials come for me, I will tell them we were tricked by an Ori woman. Tell them whatever you must, to keep your loved ones safe. Did that guy have Thancred's hairstyle? I think he does. Why would you... After everything? Well, you see, it's because I'm not a little bitch. I stand for something, idiot. Da, 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 da. Hey girl, hey. How how you doing? Yugidi is at a loss for words. Damn. Ain't that the fucking truth? Apologies, I Gailed. I was lost in thought. Mayhap they have the right of it. Mayhap we are fools for urging them to rise once more, yet I believe I have to believe that in their heart of hearts, they, they still... Now is not the time. We must finish what we started. I have in my possession a powerful medicine that befuddles the mind and memories. We must administer it to the soldiers ere they wake. The medicine will leave the soldiers confused and unable to clearly recall the recent events. They will suspect that they fell asleep at their posts and be reluctant to discuss it with others. It is not more than a temporary measure. Well, we dare not kill them for the sake of the villagers. Tend to the last two I put to sleep. I shall see to the others. Yes, ma'am. Oh. This is a few more years. Snore. Snork me 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 me. Honk shoe. Why am I putting this guy over here? No, oh, well, okay. Get fucking gassed, idiot. Honk Shu, mother, is that you? Snork me, 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 me. Come here, miss. Let me just stuff you in my pocket real quick. <laughs> She's just. She's only a few years away from retirement. She's just hanging out in my inventory. That's very funny to me. I forget that like some of these actually have like contents of the Patrick of Mystery, but you may be assured that of their efficacy in befuddling the mind and memories of hapless Imperial soldiers. I forget that a lot of these items have like descriptions. Yeah, slap this bitch down right here.
get fucking medicined. I, I want to go home, Hongshu. You get it. Where are you at, girl? Hawal? Oh, there she is. Who's that? Ridge plays. Still wearing the Imperial armor. Okay. You doing okay? Having a think? Is this cutscene voiced? Might be. Hey, girl, hey. Forgive me for making you search. Eh, yeah, don't worry about it. It calms me, the sound. It helps me to remember the sway of the ocean when I close my eyes. Despite the many great and noble things I said, in truth I am not of Doma. I was born beneath the waves of the Ruby Sea. Yeah, I know. I met your mom and dad. Bunny, 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 bunny. To think that you were there, that you even spoke with my mother and father. Hell yeah. They are in good health, then. The knowledge is of great comfort to me. <laughs> you yui. That I might have the strength to protect my home from the Empire, I left to learn the secrets of the Shinobi. Day and night we trained, ever striving to exceed our mental and physical limits. After a time, my skills were recognized, and I was dispatched to assist the Doman Liberation Front. It was then that I met Lord Kayan and his son, and their loyal samurai, Gosetsu. Good men all, brave and true, so clear their eyes, so pure their purpose. Any shinobi would have been proud to serve them and Doma. Oh yeah. But, in the end, I will always be of the sea. Every day, I pray for my home and for the people I left behind. That they might be spared the wages of war and live in peace, untouched by this madness. I confessed this to Lord Hien once. Do you know what he said to me? He said, good. We are better for the conviction of our allies and draw inspiration from their example. What is weak alone may together grow stronger. Again, Ugerty, you gotta work on your Hien impression. It's it's just not coming together. I feel like Igeld would definitely kind of identify with this with regards to like this idea of being a part of something like this, but always kind of like, I guess not necessarily like a yearning for home, really, but just sort of like an idea of like, you're still kind of other, you know? Like, that's, def that's definitely Igaled mood. Never did I lose faith in them. Even when all was lost and I led our people to Eorzea, I clung to the belief that our dream would one day be realized. But when I gazed into those eyes bereft of hope, when those broken men balked at liberty, the dream was shattered. Hey, it's, it's, it's okay. Together we are strong, and we must carry on. Punch.
that you remain resolute even in the face of everything we have seen. It heartens me more than you know. Thank you for standing by this naive fool. Hey, don't even mention it. You good girl, don't worry. Oh. Uh -oh. An Imperial airship. It is bound for Doma Castle. Quickly, we must rejoin the others. Ye hmm. Suspicious. All right, Hazel, let's get the fuck out of here. Can I teleport here right now? I'm sure... Oh no, the Aetherite's up and working. Cool, cool. Good to know. Did they get this fixed? Where's Ali say? Yeah. I'm a head out. Come, come. We must tell the others of this airship or hear what they know of it. Yeah, all right. Oh, everybody freaking out. Oh. Sup, fuckers? It's your girl. There you are. What happened? Are the villagers all right? Oh, yeah, you know. We freed them, along with many others. Gosetsu, we spied an airship bound for the castle. Know you aught of it? Aye, that we do. The crown prince is come to Doma. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. We suspect this is a result of recent events in Girabania. Our defeat notwithstanding, there appears to be some concern in Garlemald that subversive elements may be rallying in other provinces. What? That's that's Though Yotsuyu insane. governs Dome, Xenos remains the province's anointed viceroy, and it would seem he has come to assess the current situation in person. If Xenos is here, we must seize this opportunity and kill him. I agree, so simple, but also... <laughs> you may recall that we encountered Xenos at Rolga's Reach. We have seen firsthand what he can do. His power defies explanation. He faced the Alliance, the Resistance, and the Scions, and he defeated us all. Well, hold on. He got lucky. We survived and learned from the experience, it is true. But if we are to defeat him... It will not be through simple opportunism. We will require a flawless plan. We know his strengths. A prodigious swordsman trained from childhood by the finest Imperial tutors, reputed to be without equal on the battlefield, which is why we must not meet him there. Nay, we keep to the shadows, the domain of the Shinobi, and thence we strike. You need only give me the chance. Thence. Were this but a matter of personal revenge, I would not presume to bar your path, for I myself crave that same vengeance. But... but to draw steel against the Emperor's son is a grave decision, and one that will shape our nation's future. Do not forget Lord Hien's words. But I wanna... What, that we should sheathe our swords if the people lack the will to fight? I will not squander this opportunity. If we do naught, our master's life is forfeit. Even should you succeed, Xenos's death will not win Doma her freedom. More likely, her doom. Can we defend our people against the Empire's retribution? We few against a legion? Do not be a fool, child! I don't know if the Emperor cares that much about his son, honestly. 
Mayhap I am a fool with foolish dreams of a future that will never be. But I cannot, I will not forsake them! You carry weight! What now? Hmm. Well, we should probably make sure she doesn't get herself killed. Da 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 da. Subaru? Outback? All warriors must choose their own path, as Gasetsu well knows. I will not pursue her. It is for her to think on our master's words and recognize the futility of her course. Those, at least, are my thoughts upon the matter. Yours may be different. Should you wish to give chase, I will not bar your path. We each have but one life, and it is not to be spent recklessly in pursuit of our goals. I pray she realizes this soon. Da -ba -da. Nami. Ugh, excuse me. Wait, hold up. Ugh. I forgot to check to see if. Ugh. Hi, Yugiri. Cool bird. And there it goes. You know, I don't think hawks can hover like that. Did Gosetsu send you to stop me? Nah. Then you came of your own free will. I should be surprised if you agreed with my chosen course. No one else did. But it is not as fanciful as they would have you believe. Scant moments ago, I received the Crown Prince's itinerary from one of our spies in the castle. It would seem that Xenos has no desire to remain in Dolma any longer than necessary. He wishes to inspect the moon gates at this very eve. His impatience is to our advantage. He arrived without warning and gave Yotsuyu no time to prepare. The whole castle is in a state of upheaval. To avoid any delay, he has declined a full escort, and will be traveling with no more than a handful of soldiers. The Kami could not have blessed us with more auspicious circumstances. I will kill him, I Geld. I will. You mean we will kill him? Or well, die trying. You understand the risks. Oh, I'll never die. Don't worry about it. Forgive me. Of course you do. Mayhap better than I. But are you sure? Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you. I... I cannot well express what this means to me. We have much to discuss, but we can do so on the way. Yuzuka Manor is some distance from here. We must hurry. Oh. Aww. Oh! Stay calm. No one knows you were here. No one knows you saw anything. No one knows you overheard two rebels plotting to kill the crown prince. God, stupid, stupid, stupid. You know how this ends, and they only have themselves to blame. You have to tell them. You have to. Ize, no! That's a cool set of armor. And away we go. Oh, God, that's real far away. Okay. This might be the last thing we do tonight, is this whole sequence. So I guess while I'm on my way to this, uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for coming by the stream. I hope you all had a good time. I know I did. If you enjoyed the stream, you can subscribe here on Twitch. We have special emotes for subscribers. You can also follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, and co-host at AcidXShark. That's A-C-I-D-X-S-H-R-K, where I post all the streams as they happen. Or you can follow me on YouTube at AcidXShark, where I post all the streams after they happen. Art for the stream, uh, VTuber was done by Audrey and B of Team Capital. You can find on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Tumblr, co-host VGenBlueSky at Team Capital. That's T-E-A-M-C-A-T-P-L-E. Uh, chat blocker was done by Isaac. You can find on Twitter at underscore Knucklebone. That's underscore K-N-U-C-K-L-E-B-O-N-E. -E. Uh, all of these artists do fantastic work. Team Capital is taking commissions. You should commission them. It would be a really good idea for you to commission them. They do fantastic work. Hi, Yugiri. This is far enough. Let us discuss our plan of attack. Na 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 na. The 
time between the seconds. Yugiri has made her choice, and so have you. Xenos's itinerary is as follows. He will depart Doma Castle by ship and approach the Moon Gates. The bench deck field will be deactivated briefly, allowing his vessel to pass. It will then continue to these very docks, where he, will and, his where he and his entourage will disembark. As you can see, this area is not ideal for an ambush. Wide open, multiple avenues of escape. The manor is better suited to our needs. Let us split up and search for suitable hiding places. Uh, upcoming streams, uh, tomorrow, so Audrey of Team Catpole, uh, is not available tomorrow, tomorrow evening, um, so tomorrow is either going to be, uh, me and, uh, B playing a, a, uh, game that I have decided on, but am holding off on announcing just in the event that, uh, just to wait and see if B will be available. Uh, or if B is also is not all available because they are sick right now, um, that is affecting their voice, unfortunately. Um, but if they're so if they're not available, it'll be more Immortals of Avium. Uh, Saturday we will be starting the Medium, uh, which is a bad game, and then uh, next week Wednesday Amazing Spider-Man, uh, Thursday more Final Fantasy fourteen. Surrounded by walls and deserted, this location appears to be ideal for concealment. More like conceal for idealment. Ah, there you are. Yeah, I did that same motion. Hmm. From the roof, we would have a clear view of the docks. It is settled. We shall lie and wait un here until Xenos arrives. As discussed, if all goes to plan, he shall fall with my first blow. If not, the two of us will have to engage him in open combat. His escort is of no consequence, which means that we will have a two-to-one advantage. Nevertheless, he is not to be underestimated. How far along is Natalie? Is she going to be stopping anytime soon? We might be raiding her. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is going to go great, I can already tell. All that remains is to wait. I trust you are ready. Ready as I'll ever be. Think this is voiced? Pretty sure. He comes. He what? Like, just like that? Just out in the open? Gross. The village is not far, my lord. If it please you, we shall escort you there directly. Ah, oh, this fucking guy. There's a province than a graveyard, the rotting husk of a broken nation devoid of proper sport. Ah, but as his radiance wishes. Yes, yes, of course, my lord. I, I, and may I say how terribly sorry we are that you had to come so far. It is kind of funny how unbearably awkward he's making this. We labored long to sow the seeds of hatred, of fear, to train them as beasts. Now we shall see the harvest. Let there be savage beasts baying for blood, and not hollow-eyed prey cowering in the dark, or there will be no joy in this hunt. God, Garlean armor is just so fucking much. Oh, they're doing the walk.
<laughs> the fuck was that? Shinobi? And me without my brute. How weak you are. Is this the sum of your hate? Oh, I hate this, this guy. The beginning. For Lord Kyed! For Doma! Oh, cool. I guess I just killed him. <laughs> I would have liked to have, you know, used an ability. Mayhap, I shall test this new blade of yours. Let us hope it is to my liking, lest your misfortunes compound. I owe to you. Then again, I am loath to expend such effort on the unworthy. Come, earn the honor. This fucking guy. Are you guys mad at me? Oh! was a good try. Yeah, what else you got? I'm outpacing you, buddy. Ooh, what are you gonna do now, huh? Wouldn't it be so embarrassing if I beat you here? I bet you'd be pretty embarrassed. On. Okay, that one still kind of got me. Ouch. This day you die. Leave this to me. Hey, Yuguri, what are you doing? Oh. Pretty good hit. I don't know how much it did, but... Don't worry, we're still getting it. Oh. Ah, really? Man, come on. Whoa! What the hell? Trouble seeing here. Ah. Well, beans. Ah, 
Ah, I remember you, Alamigo, the champion of the savages. Look ye where the sun doth rise, see crimson embers darkening skies. Look ye where the sun doth fall, see azure lost amidst the squall. I was to spare your life. Hear me, hero. Endure. Survive. Live. For the rush of blood. For the time between the seconds, live. The sole pleasure left me in this empty, ephemeral world. Live! Man, I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> Eager, you don't do- that's yeah! probably not a- You are not worthy. You guys have farming implements? That's awesome. Imperial dog. No, don't. You must. You must flee. We're not going anywhere. Do you hear me? We're not running away. What yeah. you're doing is stupid and reckless, and I never wanted any part of it. But here we are. I've spent my whole life hating myself. For every time they made me beg, for every time I held my tongue to protect the people I love. And then you came along and reminded me of all the things I never said and never did, and it was even worse. Let's fucking go. I would have given anything to forget, to walk away, but I knew I'd never be able to live with the guilt. So we came. All of us! You for what? You, for ourselves! For Dorma! Like all at the same time? Death is death, regardless of the reason. Yet you seem determined to die, intruding upon this sacred ground, turning weapons you can scarcely wield upon me. Your lives will not even begin to redress the balance. How wrong you are! Oh, cool, thanks. Go, now! Gazetsu, see to Yugiri! I can't see a damn thing. Someone stop them! All your dudes are dead. Who's gonna stop us? My lord? Hey, good job, everyone. You don't 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 be too hard on yourself. It's all right. Here, have some water. Uh. Tis not that will not heal with time. I don't think we were followed. Gods, I have no idea what was going through that man's head, but I am heartily glad he decided to leave. 
Oh, and don't thank us. Thank Alphano. He's at the House of the Fierce, patiently awaiting your gratitude. You should have seen the way he turned pale when he heard about Yugidi's plan. How you, of all people, had decided to help her. He was in such panic, barking orders, calling for a squadron to be assembled. As were you! I was rather composed, as I recall. Though that is neither here nor there. Na, 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 na. That's going to be it for today. I'm going to go ahead and head out of here. Uh, stick around. We are going to be raiding Natalie's stream, who is fighting a boss in Kingdom Hearts right now. And I'll see you next time on the Shark Stream. Same Shark time, same Shark channel. Take care, everybody.